Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. Well, hey guys, one more Evanescence one before we have to take a little Evanescence break. I was wrong. There's This is the change. This is the, this is the last song from the set list uh, that I've not heard. So we're going to knock this one out. This is a, a reminder. Thank you, Among the Ashes, for reminding me on this. So um, this is also a request that goes back quite a ways. So uh, this is going to be for uh, Scarlet's Walk, G-U-E-V. Alex98, Palma, J Sam, NP Character, Maybe Lynn, Anna M, Among the Ashes, Tatiana D or Tatiana D. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And Leighton. So um, I think about four or five of you asked me to check out the uh, acoustic version too in Germany. So we're gonna do that one too. It's gonna be a doubleheader, guys. Um, all right. So let's just talk about this one real quick. Uh, trusty old wiki here. There's nothing on the song itself. I, uh, I'm just gonna tell you what I think. So I think it's about a relationship where um, she or whoever the person, you know, in this story um, needs to get out of a relationship with someone. It's for the best. But they, she or he loves that other person so much that it's such a hard thing to do. And um, I think when she says in the lyrics, never meant to lie, but I'm not the girl you think you know. The more that I am with you, the more that I am all alone. I don't think it's like a cheating thing. I think it's a uh, lying to her, like uh, lying to the person that they still, you know, they're going to be there for them and, uh, you know, something along those lines. But I could be wrong too. You know, maybe she did say there was a specific meaning from this. So if anyone knows that, feel free to tell me. Just a little insight from Amy. She mentioned that this was, uh, and by the way, this is from the self-titled 2011 album. She mentioned this was the fastest song that uh, they, they wrote for the album. They all like uh, shared the same guitar tuning, uh, told each other, hey, go home tonight, write a part for it. When we come in the next day, we're going <clears> to <throat> see if these parts match up and we can make a song. So um, yeah, it turns out the parts matched up and she mentioned how the guitar riffs for the verse uh, was actually uh, two of their creations like layered over each other. So um, and then she mentioned it only took her one day to write the lyrics when it uh, normally takes her about a week, sometimes two weeks. So yeah, they pumped this one out really fast. Um, I'm eager to check this one out. I'm good to be coming back to this album as well. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the same day as those other reactions I just did. Just wanted to get more comfortable, getting a t-shirt. Um, yeah, so here we go. Evanescence, The Change. I'm sorry, you know what? Just a weird little fun thing. That's the same drumming that's in the beginning of the Faith No More song, uh, the real thing. You don't have to go listen to the whole song, but just listen to the beginning of the song. I swear, it's the same drumming. Oh, this one's so... What a change just listening to a song from Fallen to this. I'm getting like a U2 kind of vibe on this one. Okay, um, excellent song so far. I absolutely love the melody in the co the vocals for the chorus. I just love how it's shooting up like that. The da 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 da. I love that man. Um, for some reason, that's reminding me of another song too. Um, but I, it's just so it's just like clicking in my brain just right when I hear her shoot up to that. Uh, you know, whatever words she's landing on in the lyrics to go to that high note. That sounds beautiful, man. Um, 
in the verses, this is um, like I was saying during when the song was playing. It's it's such a difference coming from just listening to a song from Fallen to to you know the self titled. Um, so much more. I don't know how to describe it. It's more atmospheric in this. Um, the style of the lead work that's being played in the verse. That's the part that kind of it's very U two esque to me because U two they use a lot of that. Um, uh, delay pedal kind of stuff on their guitar, you know? Um, like that song, Where the Streets Have No Name, if you ever heard the guitar and that with the delay effect, kind of sounds a little bit like that. More extreme than this song, but yeah. Uh, excellent song so far. I, I really like that chorus too, man. Good baseline in this too. Wow, I didn't notice how interesting the baseline was until now, man. It's like it's it's. I love it's just like sliding down. It's like boom, 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 boom. It sounds great, man. Wow. That baseline. Regular strings. Was there a key change on this last uh, chorus or am I tripping out? Very well put together song, man. Wow. Wow. Excellent song, man. Ugh, this has to be one of the I know they've had so many great songs, okay? And I, I've heard a lot now. I know I've still not heard as much as you guys yet, but this is one of the catchiest ones I've heard. Um, yeah, this one, I feel like this should have been all over the radio. This is excellent. I absolutely love the, the vocal melody in the chorus. Um, Evanescence, The Change. Yes. Um, now guys, was I tripping out or maybe it was just a jarring thing from the music from the bridge. Maybe it kind of clashed a little bit when the, the music for the chorus came back in, but it felt like there was a key change. Um, I could be tripping, man. Um,
I'm tripping. It's the same key. I'm sorry. It, I guess it just jarred me from uh, the music from the bridge uh, transitioning to the chorus. I'm sorry, guys. Um, excellent song. Very well put together. Atmospheric. I mean, <clears throat> if this was the quickest song they wrote, uh, things just aligned perfectly because this is... Uh, I love this one. This is such a great song, man. Um, all the parts came together really well. And, you know, different people wrote different parts, which I'm sure in a lot of other bands, things probably work that way too. Maybe even in one sitting in, in the studio. But it's nice that things lined up to where they could even overlay the the two guitar parts that two different people wrote for the verse and put them together, you know? Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of gushing a little bit over how good I like this uh, this chorus in this song. I, I just absolutely love the vocals in this and, and the way that she hits that the high note on the end of every line. You know, say it's over. It's just so beautiful, man. All right, guys, hold on. I figured it out where I've heard this vocal melody from uh, The Change before. And the song I'm thinking of is Aurora's song, Winterbird. Actually, this song came first. Evanescence, The Change came first. So it's really Aurora who wrote her vocal melody eerily similar to Amy's in The Change. I'll explain it, all right? So here's the chorus from The Change. <laughs> Okay, so there's uh, Evanescence. In uh, Winterbird, Aurora sings the chorus like, Lay me by the frozen river where the boats have passed me by. You hear the similarities in how they sing them? So here it is. You guys hear the similarities there? They're hitting that same note. I think this is in slightly a different key. But um, the same vocal pattern is being followed by Aurora. I, I thought that was uh, cool, and I just had to point that out. Anyway, it was bothering me, and I had to get to the bottom of that. So, uh, yeah. All right, we'll end this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and dive into this uh, Live in Germany version. Some of you guys said it was acoustic. I'm sorry I didn't. When I wrote down all the names, I didn't specifically put who said exactly what about the song, so my apologies. Uh, let's do this. Evanescence, uh, The Change, Live in Germany. Oh man, I just realized how beautiful this is going to sound acoustic when it gets to that chorus too. <laughs> Beautiful man. I'm just gonna see when this was 2012. Beautiful. But not the girl you think you Can you hear me? Can you hear me? This has to be hard as hell to sing live.
That's why we're so there. Different. Know that I don't see the dying light of what we used to be. But how can I forgive you? You changed, and I'm a liar by your side. I'm about to lose my mind. Cause I've been screaming of the inside, and I know you feel the pain. It did it to me again. God, this song's You've hard to sing. If you're thinking that I still be like to you, and I've been taken, cause I'm lying to myself. Sing it all for you, sing God dang. Ooh. Thank you. Man, what a freaking awesome performance, man. Um, Evanescence, The Change, live in Germany. Okay, so this one, the longer this one went on, the more I was like, dang, man, constant high notes. It's got to be a struggle, especially in an acoustic version where she's probably doing more inflections and things in her vocals that she normally wouldn't do in the regular full band version because she doesn't need to stand out as much with with the whole band supporting her. In this version, I, it's just her in the guitar. And then later on in the song, Will. Um, so she's probably doing more things she wouldn't normally do in the studio version, which would make this acoustic version even harder than the normal version already is, okay? So um, in the back half of this, in the last chorus, I mean, you could hear her voice was cracking a little bit. She had to switch to falsettos on the that high note, the da 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 uh, because of how hard it was. And I absolutely don't blame her. Don't get me wrong, I'm not like, oh, you messed up on the end, you had to do, you know? I couldn't do what she does, okay? So don't take it that way. I'm acknowledging the fact that this is an unbelievably hard song to sing. And, um, you know, that in order to finish it, uh, she did the falsettos, which I mentioned it in another, which Evanescence song was it? She did it on that one, too. And um, it's also a nice way to make a song sound beautiful, too, you know, when, when you, you switch to that falsetto like that. But um, absolutely beautiful, man. Uh, I can't say enough good things about um, the fact that she, she has to, I don't know how many times they've done this acoustic version, but the fact that she has to carry this song with how hard it is, you know, um, in this acoustic version. And I don't know if it'll be acoustic um, when I see them, but um, I see the merits in both versions. However, I'm so taken with the song as a whole, uh, with the whole band playing in that studio version. I would, I think I would prefer to hear that one live for the first time as a full band, because there were so many things I liked about it. It's just such an atmospheric song. I loved all the instruments. I mean, you just heard me a couple minutes ago talking about each thing. You know, the bass was great, that bass line, all of it was awesome. Um, last thing I want to comment about on this one is uh, I love how Will has like, a, uh, he has a partial electronic drum set mixed into his, his kit. And um, it's such a cool thing to do so you can add in other effects. You could add in even get like notes, like a keyboard. It's like you're pressing the button on a keyboard when you hit the uh, whatever part of the kit. Um, the drummer Danny Carey from Tool, he does the same thing with all the crazy effects they need in Tool's music. So that was really cool, man, that he had a nice little bongo set up there. Um, excellent performance. Again, this was amazingly beautiful. And God, what a hard song to sing, man. Um, all right, so uh, guys, if you've not heard Evanescence before this reaction, please go check them out. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for sitting through a doubleheader. Now we are going to commence a short little break uh, for Evanescence and Hailstorm um, since I've done so much and the uh, requests are backing up and people are probably like, what the hell, man? What about why so much Evanescence and Hailstorm? You know, so 
Um, I can't forget about everyone else too. So yeah, uh, we'll get back to them. I promise, guys. It's just uh, you got to give everyone else a chance too. So uh, thank you again, guys, for hanging out with me. I will report how good the show was when I get back from it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.